While Surface Duo and its new big brother, Surface Duo 2, lack any sort of desktop mode like Samsung DeX or Microsoft's Continuum, which has not continued, ironically, it is still kind of viable used on a larger screen. So in this video, I'm gonna answer some questions I've been getting from you fine people out there on the other side of this screen. And I'm going to attach my Surface Duo 2 to this handy dandy USB-C hub. I'm going to then plug it into a television and I'm gonna plug it into a mouse and a keyboard. And I'm gonna show you exactly how well, or maybe not well, that does in fact work. All right, so I lied a little bit. I'm actually not gonna plug it into a TV because plugging it into a TV, trying to film that setup, the audio, the video looked and sounded bad. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to plug it into this capture card, which will act as the television. And I will simply record that instead. It's gonna look and sound way, way, way better for you guys to be able to experience. So we've got our USB-C hub here. We're going to plug HDMI in here. We're going to plug the other end of the HDMI into here. Imagine, of course, that this is your television or your monitor, whatever you want it to be. Keep in mind, this could be a TV, this could be a monitor. It doesn't matter any way you want to go. And I'm going to plug this into my computer now. So at this point, you should see nothing next to me. But now when I plug in my Surface Duo 2 to that USB-C hub, we should get here an output right there just like that perfect okay so the first thing you're going to notice by looking at this is that you're not going to see the hinge down the middle the gap down the middle and that's important to notice to note and that's important because like i've said a million times already surface duo as far as android is concerned is one continuous screen if you want evidence of that look no further there you can see exactly how android sees surface duo doesn't care that it's got a hinge down the middle, that it's two separate screens. That's what it sees. People often talk about how you lose stuff in the middle of the gap. Well, that's why. It's because there's a gap there, but it continues. The, the content is underneath that hinge, underneath that gap. So first off, if you want an experience pretty much like this, you've got a couple of different options besides just using this USB-C hub. If all you want to do is output, you can simply buy a USB-C to HDMI cable, plug that in, plug it in your TV and rock and roll. You can also go to the cast, the smart cast button there and cast to a Chromecast enabled device, do this wirelessly. That all works totally fine as well. However, if you want added functionality, then you're gonna to wanna to use something like this. And here's why, you notice right there in that USB-A port, that is a mouse and keyboard combination. It's a keyboard with a little trackpad. And what that's going to allow me to do is to sit back up on my couch or whatever and use my trackpad here to mouse around, to launch apps, to do whatever it is that I want to do. Now, I would suggest to you get an actual mouse that you can move around with. That's going to work way, way, way better than trying to use this. Although this does work, you know, relatively well. And then, of course, you can also take things another direction and you can take some flash storage and plug that in. And then what's really cool about that, when you do something like that, you can actually have it set up so that it's going to launch a file explorer app and you can play videos, TV, you know, whatever you want to play on there. So let's say you plug this thing into your television. You've got, you know, a TV show or whatever you want to watch and you can store it on there and play it from there. Now, something we need to point out here as well is it obviously on a television like this, you know, being able to launch two apps side by side is cool, but you're gonna wanna span stuff to be able to see it full screen. In fact, let's go ahead and go to YouTube here. And then if we span YouTube and go full screen, you've got a properly full screen video. Imagine this on your television. There's me putting a phone in my pocket. Weird place for this to start playing, but that's where I was, so whatever. But that's what you're gonna get on your television or on your monitor. And with Surface Duo 2, you can actually set apps to auto span. So something like that's going to work even better. Now, I do want to mention that using a, a cursor like this, a mouse, to be able to, to go home. So you have to click down here and, and, and kind of drag up like that. That's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do. So you're, you may want to switch to the three button navigation if this is something you're going to be doing a lot so that you can simply click that button in the middle 
or click the multitasking button, that's going to be a whole heck of a lot easier. Or what about even for gaming, right? So you could use this thing, Xbox Game Pass, right? Touchscreen controls rotated around or use a, a you know Bluetooth controller. When you come home, pair your Xbox controller or whatever Bluetooth controller you want, or perhaps a controller that's going to pair with the a USB dongle for this uh, hub, hook it up to your TV, and now you're doing some gaming. And honestly, you know, the latency is not that bad. It's pretty decent, actually. You could get some actual gaming done here if you wanted to go this route. Also need to know that if I close this thing, I'm going to lose my output. So do you want to maybe have it part of the way open, unlock, and maybe you can leave it kind of like that or something? Maybe that will work well enough for you. Hard to say, but you definitely can't leave the thing closed. I also want to point out that this and most of these hubs have a power delivery port. So you can actually plug your charger in and keep the thing charged while you're doing this. So basically, this, this is the use case, right? You've been out, you've been using your phone all day. You come home and you want to either use it for multimedia. Maybe you just want to use it to watch YouTube, Netflix, whatever. Or you want to use it to get some other stuff done. Where you come home, you've got something like this or... Something like this, which is a, a stand with all these things, all these uh, various ports and so forth. You come home, you drop it in there, you plug it in, you've got your mouse, you've got your keyboard, you've got your storage. Maybe you've got Ethernet in the instance of a cube dock that I've got sitting off camera over there. All these things, all this, all the stuff for your setup. So you come home and you plug it in and boom, there you go. Now you can use this thing on a bigger screen. Is it as good as Samsung DeX, which is a full desktop environment with windows and things like that? No, it's not. And it's really difficult, if not impossible, to get any of these things like that working on Duo. But is it good enough to be useful to use? I think probably it is. So guys, for those of you who are wondering how well that worked or maybe didn't work, Hopefully this has been revealing to you. If you'd like to purchase either this anchor dock that I've used in so many videos now, perhaps this stand dock that I've used, and then one other option, which the name, I think it's pluggable, which I talked about in another video. I'll link to all those down below. If it's something that you think you want to try, check out those links down below. So guys, thanks for making it to the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting that like button, maybe sharing, subscribing, or clicking that join button. Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.